Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I am using the Lorac Pro Mega 2 palette, which I mentioned in my last video in my September favorites. Yes. And I really love this palette. I've been using it a ton, but I'm really obsessed with this green in the palette. It's just a really gorgeous forest green, and I wanted to do a video and show you guys how I would wear that green in the palette. So that's what we're using today, and if you guys can tell, I am really sick. I've been sick for a while now, but the last couple days have just been, like, miserable. <laughs> so... Yeah, a lot of you have been asking for a makeup tutorial, so I wanted to come back with a makeup tutorial first. And I also filmed a boyfriend tag with my boyfriend over the weekend when I went up there to see him. So that will be the next video you see. Then after that will be another makeup tutorial. So feel free to send me pictures on Twitter or tag me on Instagram, whatever. And I will be sure to jot them all down and do them for you guys. I'm feeling more inspired now, and I just really love this makeup look, and I love it for fall. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and don't forget to to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see how to get this makeup look then let's just go ahead and get started okay so I've already got my primers on and these are the ones that I used today I will leave them down below in the description box and like I said I'm using the Lorac Pro Mega 2 palette and the first color I'm gonna take is the color burlap and does anybody else see something different about this makeup tutorial? I'm gonna give you like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not using tape. Isn't that crazy? I always use tape on the corners of my eyes just to create a sharp line, but I couldn't find my tape, so I'm gonna show you a different way that I like to clean up my eyeshadow. But I'm taking a burlap and I'm just putting this into the crease and fluffing it out. Then I'm taking a saddle with a smaller blending brush like this. And I'm going to put this directly into the crease. And I'm going a little bit above the crease as well. And this is just going to really define that area and make my eyes look a little bit bigger. After that, I'm going to take the shade Burlap again with the same brush, and I'm going to go back over the saddle that we just put on and blend it out even more. Okay, so now I'm taking the Forest Green color in this palette, and I'm going to apply this all over the lid and also drag it up towards the crease and a little bit above the crease as well. Then I'm going to go in with the same fluffy brush we used earlier, but I'm going to use the forest color again and I'm just going to put this into the crease and blend out the edges of this eyeshadow so we don't have any harsh lines. Okay, next I'm going to take burlap again, and I'm just going to put this directly above where that green is. And this is just going to make sure everything blends nicely to the brow bone, and it also adds a lot of warmth to this look. So, I just wanted to add a little bit more of this because this burlap shade is one of my favorites. <laughs> Okay, next I'm taking this Makeup Forever ink liner and I'm just going to do a thin line on the upper lash line. I'm not doing a wing or anything like that. And then I'm taking a makeup wipe like this and I'm going to clean up the edges and I'm going to follow the lower lash line and do an angle up towards my brow just so there's a nice sharp line and it doesn't look too messy on the outer half. I'm using these Coco Lashes and Goddess, and then we're going to move on to priming our face. This is the Smashbox Primer Water, and I love this. I just got a new bottle because I finished up my other one. <laughs> I love it so much. And then I'm going to take the Pore Minimizing Primer as well from Smashbox and put this on my skin. 
I've been using this duo a lot, you know, for the past few months, as well as this foundation, and they're just what works for my skin, and I really love them. And I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, obsessed with it. Like I said, I've been using it a ton, and I'm using the Makeup Geek brush. I forget the exact name of this, but I'll have it in the description box below. And I'm going to use this to blend out the foundation on my face. And then I'm going to take the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I put that on the center of my face and under my eyes, and then again blend it out with the same brush. Now I'm going to take this Naked Skin Concealer and put this on my nose. I just like this concealer for my nose, and the application's really easy. Now I'm using the Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter Palette, and I'm going to take the yellow in here. As you can see, I've already hit pan on it. I love this stuff. And I'm going to set all my concealer, so under my eyes and in the center of my face. Now I'm going to take this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, and this is, a, this is a bronzer, if I can talk. I'm using the Smart Jacobs brush, which is huge, but I love it, and my brushes need a deep cleaning. <laughs> so this is the one I've been using lately. And I'm just going to put this on the top of my forehead, my cheeks, and a little bit underneath my chin. And then I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is the medium shade, and I'm going to use this to contour my cheeks, and I'm using the NARS Eda brush to apply this. Now I'm taking this NARS Lovejoy blush. I'm obsessed with this blush. Uh, oh my god, it's so pretty. It's such a gorgeous, warm, rosy shade. I just love this color. And I'm going to apply it to my cheeks and then blend it out with a regular face brush. Now I'm going to take Estee Lauder Heat Wave and I'm going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones just to highlight the face. I love this highlighter. I know it's discontinued, but honestly, I will never stop using it. <laughs> and now I'm going to fill in my brows, and I use Anastasia Dip Brow. And then taking porcelain in the palette, I'm going to use this shade to highlight right underneath the brow as well. And then taking Max Costa Riche. It's a gorgeous brown eyeliner. This really makes brown eyes pop. I'm obsessed with it. You need it in your life if you have brown eyes because it is beautiful. And then I'm taking Forest with a flat brush like this, and I'm going to apply it directly underneath my lower lashes and really, press, and really pressing it up against that lower lash line. Then I'm taking burlap again, and I'm using a pencil brush, and I'm going to blend this out, and this will just smoke it out a little bit and make it nice and warm underneath that lower lash line. Now using the Benefit Roller Lash, I'm going to apply mascara on my lower lashes. And then moving on to lips, I'm, oh, I cannot talk. Moving on to lips, I'm going to take this lip liner from Smashbox. I'll leave the name down below. And this MAC Lipstick in Taupe, which is one of my favorite warm nudes. It is just gorgeous, and I love it with this look. And then you are done with the makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.